everyone! What's up? Welcome back to Droid Conspiracy Projects, or as you know it, DCP. Today I wanted to talk about using Textra to get realistic looking iOS Messenger. I'm currently in the settings for Textra, and most of what we're going to be doing takes place in this customize section right here. Let's first go to customize look. The first thing you want to make sure you do is change the screen color from dark to light and then tap OK. It will quickly refresh the app and bring you back to the settings. Next, go to theme color. Go to the first gray after all of the brown colors. This first and lightest gray is the gray that you want. No other color will really get you the look and feel that you like. The accent color I chose was the second darkest blue here. If you like the old fashioned iOS, you can always use green. For bubble colors, make sure that the received message is in this gray color, which is the second last color on the wheel. And the sent color is this nice, beautiful blue. One of the keys here is to change the bubble style. Originally, it will look like a square, but go to the very last bubble style, which is an iOS type. And finally, change your emojis from your systems emojis to iOS. If you're using my tutorial on how to get iOS emojis for any phone that can change a font, this will be even better for you. So this is what it looks like. And as you can see, the sent is in blue and the received is in gray. So I can text something and it's sent and received. Although my emojis are still stock Samsung, you can still change it by clicking on this video right here. And this shows you how to get iOS emojis on any phone that can change fonts. But as you can see, once they're typed, they are iOS emojis. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you later on the next episode of George Conspiracy Projects. Bye and have a blessed week.